Hello students and welcome back to another math video, this time on converting unit rates. This is a challenging topic, but each step in the process is easy. So we just have to do one step at a time uh, and try not to get bogged down in the biggie. So let's get started. There's a couple things that we need to know before we get into converting unit rates, and we'll break these down. Uh, the first one is multiplying by 1 in a few different forms. The second one is conversions. Next we need to know some conversions, and I'll show you a few of those. And lastly, we need to know that we can cross cancel or cross reduce, same like we've been doing in fractions. All right, here they are. Multiplying by 1. Well, if we multiply anything by 1, it doesn't change the value, and fractions are the same. So 3 eighths times 1 is going to be 3 eighths. 3 eighths times 6 6. Wait, I thought you said we were multiplying by 1. Yes, we are. Anytime the top number and bottom number in a fraction are the same, this fraction is equal to 1. Well, we can multiply straight across. 3 times 6 is 18, and 8 times 6 is 48. And if we reduce these, and we could reduce them by dividing them both by 6, then we would see that this is equal to 3 eighths. How about 4 over 4? It's exactly the same. If we multiply straight across, I have 12 30 seconds. If I reduce them, again, I could divide both sides by 4, and we would be left with 3 eighths again. We also said conversions. When we do conversions, it's the same actual amount we're just using a different unit. Here are a few common ones. One gallon is equal to four quarts. One hour is equal to 60 minutes. One mile is equal to 5,280 feet. One yard is equal to three feet. And page 26 of your math book has a chart that shows some other common conversions. Again, we need to know that it's the same amount of the thing. It's just being shown in a different unit. How about this one? If you watch a awesome Netflix movie for one hour, or if you watched it for 60 minutes, it was the same amount of time. Cross-canceling. You've done this a lot with fractions. So with this first one, if I wanted to say 6 eighths times 3 6, I could multiply straight across 6 times 3 is 18, and 8 times 6 is 48. But we learned this step where if we can cross cancel or cross reduce and say, well, I could divide this by 6 and this by 6, and these would be 1, now my multiplication is much easier. This is a key concept for converting unit rates, and you can do this also with units. So, in this example I have here, when I cross cancel or cross reduce, I would be canceling out these feet. And then when I multiply across, 1 times 1 is 1, and here's the only unit I have left, 1 yard, and 3 times 12 is 36, and here's the only unit I have left. So I'm saying 1 yard per 36 inches, 1 yard in 36 inches. So that's my cross-canceling or reducing, this idea that we can do it with units, too. Okay, here's one that we'll work through together. This one reads, 55 miles per hour is equal to how many feet per second? Our first step is going to be to set up what we were given as a fraction. So 55 miles, include the units, that's important over one hour. And remember my goal is feet per second, but I really have two things I need to change. I need to change the miles to feet and I need to change the hours to seconds. So this is going to be a couple steps. So let's get started. So I'm going to multiply this by another fraction and I'm going to set my other fraction up to get rid of one of my units on purpose. So, I have miles and I have hours. I could get rid of either one. Maybe people are seeing the miles. So let me get rid of miles. 
So to cross cancel that, I have to have miles on the bottom. Let's see. I want to get to feet. I could have feet up top. Well, how many feet are in a mile? 5,280 feet in one mile. Well, now this is going to cancel. Miles are going to cancel. Miles are going to cancel. So right now, I've gotten rid of miles. I'm down to feet per hour. That's good. But I need to get to feet per second. So now I'm going to take care of that hour. So if I want to cross cancel that hour, I need to get to I have hour up here on the top. Well, in your book, you don't have a direct conversion from hours to seconds. So we could do one, but I'll just do it straight up, hours to minutes. We'll do it in an additional step. Well, one hour is 60 minutes. So now I can cancel my hours out. I'm getting closer. I'm now in feet per minute. So now I have one more fraction to do here, and that's where I'm going to convert uh, minutes and seconds. I put my minutes on top so that I'm able to cancel. Well, one minute is equal to 60 seconds. So now I can cancel out my minutes. And what am I left with for units on the top? I'm left with feet, and everything else has been canceled. And on the bottom, I'm left with seconds, and everything else has been canceled. So this is great, because now I'm in a, I have a unit rate, feet per second, that's where I'm going. So I just need to multiply across. So I need to do 55 times 5,280 times 1 times 1. All right, so this is a big number, 290,400. Now I need to multiply across the bottom. 1 times 1 times 60 times 60 is 3,600. So this is correct, but we haven't gotten down to a unit rate. Because when we hear unit rate, we know divide. So if I divide this, I will get 80 and 6 repeating here feet per second, or if I was going to give an about answer, I would say it's about 80 feet per second. Alright, here's one from your homework, number five. It's saying, Charlie runs at a speed of three yards per second. About how many miles per hour does Charlie run? So again, we'll take what they give us and we'll set it up as a fraction. Three yards per one second. And we will eventually want to get to miles per hour. So we can see that we have to change both of these units. We have to change yards to miles, and we have to change seconds to hours. Let's get started. Well, maybe I'll start off with yards. I want to cancel out yards. Well, let's see. Uh, that means I need yards on the bottom. What do I know that goes with yards? I know feet. I could do that. So, 3 feet is equal to 1 yard. So, now I can cancel out my yards. I'm closer. I didn't want feet. I wanted miles. But maybe I can do that now. Okay. How do I cancel out my feet and get miles? Well, I'd have to put feet on the bottom so that I can set up to cross cancel. I could have my miles on the top. Let's see, 1 mile is equal to 5,280 feet. So now I can cancel out my feet. That's good. I'm in miles up top. Okay. But I'm still in seconds. I need to get to hours. Okay. Well, if I want to cancel out seconds, I'm going to need to have those up top. Let's see. I could do minutes. So... There's 60 seconds in one minute. So now I can cancel seconds. I'm pretty close. I just need to get to hours. Well, let's see. 60 minutes in one hour. And now I can cancel minutes. So let's see. What am I left with for units up top? Miles. Great. And what am I left with for units down on the bottom? Hours. 
great. So I have an answer that now I'm set to get in miles per hour. Just have to do some calculating. So multiplying across the top, I'd have 3 times 3 times 1 times 60 times 60. Okay, this is another big number, 32,400. Remember, that's uh, miles right now. And then multiplying across the bottom, 1 times 1 times 5,280 times 1 times 1 is 5,280, and that's in hours. So mathematically, this is correct, but as a unit rate, uh, we need to divide. So 3,200, sorry, 32,400 divided by 5,280 is 6 and 13 or 136 thousandths. So, and it asked us for an about kind of answer. So we could say this is about 6 miles per hour. Okay, that's it. I know these are a little challenging, but one step at a time, and uh, you'll work through them. Go ahead and watch the video again if you need to, and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.